battles are back full speed ahead this time we have two new teams we wanted the rematch google uh, google iq against uh, uh, the black holes but that couldn't happen so every time uh, at least one member of the team changes we have to create new team names and create a new team so this time we have Soronic vultures against lords of the rings <laughs> So, uh, as you can see, I'm on the Saronic Vultures team. We have two 2400s, myself and Joe Assad. This is, of course, by the highest rating. Uh, actually, me and Joe currently aren't at 2400. Um, yeah, and we're facing off against Lords of the Rings. Um, they have three uh, 2200, 2300 rated players to balance out uh, me and Joe. And, of course, uh, finally, Dr. Omtaz, like you. And uh, on the lower boards, uh, we're cl uh, closely matched, I think. Okay, so starting off, we have G Saba on our team, Soronic Vultures, against Lords of the Rings. Biased commentary will resume here. Um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. Let's check out the position. So... Okay, what's going on in this position? How many pawns? Six against six. But yeah, these, these pawns seem a bit weaker. This pawn is a backward pawn. This one right over here. This one right over here is weak. I like uh, the piece placement. Um, at all times though, f5 could be a dangerous move, so white needs to watch out for that. In fact, f5 now yeah, he's starting to prepare these f5 ideas. Hopefully he doesn't fall for it. Please just play rook c1. <laughs> Beiluf, you have... Uh... Okay, I actually I have double the work, but... <laughs> yeah. He takes the pawn, yes. Okay, he's going to lose this game. <laughs> yeah, this is over. Yikes. He spent a lot of time on that move. Unfortunate. Okay, he defends it at least, doesn't get checkmated. It's not too bad, I guess. Okay, but queen e5. Uh, queen e5 is too bad. Okay, here king g2, maybe you can try. There it is, king g2. That was almost a ghost king <laughs> due to a bit of lag there. Okay, f4, no, this... Uh, <laughs> okay, king h2, yeah, you, you're protect. Yes, 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 he dropped the queen! Oh, yes! <laughs> Biased commentary resumes! And the bishop is hanging as well. Okay, you look f1, come on, G-Saba, you have to do this. He was playing bullet before this game, so... Come on! Let's go, g Sabo. <laughs> Faster! Oh my god, too much time. What is queen g1? So passive. Start using... What is this rook doing? Take c7, do something! Take c7, yes! Please drop this check. Okay, Oh. Okay, show us the bullet skills. He was just playing bullet. Come on. Faster, please. He's going to get flagged. I know it. No, this is unacceptable speed. Come on. Oh, <laughs> That was a seriously good effort. <laughs> Very nice by G-Saba. He needs to pick up the pace. Okay. At least, uh, yeah, we're starting to strike fear in their hearts so so G Saba got really close mm, okay so next up piece F oh I wrote it with <laughs> okay so now it's Shulker Against the peace. Can you post some fire emojis in the... 
in the stream. Um, Beirut. Uh, fire baskets, rather. We're using baskets. Oh, you're on the same team. <laughs> Against Munir, right. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sorry, peace off. Uh, can you... Wait, hold on. Okay, so... A Fiencato setup. Looks like a Catalan. Yes, a Catalan with h6. h6 here is a bit strange. You usually play h6 when you play bishop f5 to give scope for the bishop or room for the bishop. But yeah, okay. White is to be much preferred here. Knight bd7, a bit passive. Connected with a6. It doesn't make as much sense. e4, a gambit. Alright. I guess you can recover the pawn though immediately. Yeah, there is no way to keep it. Maybe could try c5, but... Yeah, c5 might be an interesting unbalancing move. Uh, can you post the fire emojis again? Uh, Beiluf and Malika Pius. Any of you? Beiluf, Malika Peace, the fire baskets. Help me out. No fire baskets. Okay, so he won the bishop pair, it seems. So he did play c5, huh? He did, takes, takes. Here you would definitely take on f6, but okay. He does it now. Yeah, this is a looming threat. This bishop is very passively placed. Everything looks good. Yep, and that happens actually. <laughs> Shulker on fire. I'm starting to have flashbacks from the Google IQ match. Google IQ against the Black Holes match. That was very ugly. Okay, so... Thank you, Malika. Peace. Shulker, Shulker, destroying the competition, Shulker. He resigns. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's a piece, but... Okay, he does resign. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've already lost <laughs> two team members. To the Lords of the Rings. Stream is frozen. Why? Is it still frozen now? Hopefully not. Uh, stream health looks good. Actually. Yeah. Okay, so Shulker going through our team. Destroying our team, Shulker. <laughs> Okay, Penta A5 is up. Hopefully, Penta A5 can do something about this. The storm of the Shulker. He wasn't phased. G Saba was so close to beating him and he wasn't phased. He played an excellent Catalan here. Yeah, what are we to do? <laughs> So, Shulker against Penta A5. Where is Penta A5? No game. David Fastbinder, hello. Nice seeing you, man. Audio is faster than video. Well, I thought 
the issues should have largely disappeared. Looks fine. Okay, good. Yeah, this quarantine <laughs> and the internet usage, it's not really helping. <laughs> All right, where is Penta A5? Where is Penta A5? Should we take a look at a top game while we wait? Omar Abed asks what's happening. Exactly, what is happening? Okay, maybe we take a look. Uh, I think Ali Reza and... Uh, Penguin are playing. Or not. I think they are. Nihal Saren. Wow. Oh, that's a nice rating by uh, Rauf Mamedov. Penguin is playing against Jasugi. Okay, maybe Nihal. Is the Nihal playing? Nihal is not playing. 2-1 <laughs> against Nihal. <laughs> Magnus dropped, uh, yeah, he dropped the 3300. It's difficult to maintain though, no? How, how what uh, score did they finish? So Alireza against Penguin, 59 wins and 42 losses. Don't think they played anyone else. Okay, they've started. Schalker against Panta. Schalker doesn't seem to be online. Okay, he is now. Uh, two one against Nihal is of course in variance. I, I would I would never be able to beat him in bullet or blitz. Nah, maybe I could take a game, but a game out of a hundred if he's uh, <laughs> half asleep. Anyway, a new day and a new <laughs> Catalan. <laughs> With this C5, yes, a very dynamic possibility, but it's actually... Okay, it's alright. Um, bishop E6. Seems... Um, yeah, usually knights before bishops, this is usually said on the king's side. But also here it's more useful, because maybe this bishop wants to come here or here. I think it's too early to commit it to e6. Game is on, that's right, Harian. And a4 preventing b5 seems to weaken. Like b5 isn't normally such a huge threat on the Catalan because of this bishop, so. Okay, anyway. Queen d7 and then knight e. Mm, mm, yeah, not. Actually, I wasn't liking what black is doing, but what white did e what white did with taking here, it's not so useful. You double the pawns, but look what happened. You lost your strong knight here, and when you doubled the pawns, um, he can easily just undouble them. So, okay, e4, a very dynamic move. So Schalker from dropping his queen to playing a positional masterpiece takes on yeah because he can take on e4 whenever he wants to okay trading queens yeah imagine bishop takes c5 bishop takes c5 is not ah he wants to try to keep the pawn but it's not going to be kept whoa wait taking on d5 that's strange you could have taken e4 Played bishop d6, takes, takes, then take e4. That would have been much better. Yeah, here, h6. Why not attack the b-pawn already? For example, with a5. Yeah, now he's... He's starting to get somewhere. 
Okay, already here I can simply take. Yes, and takes, takes, bishop f6, takes e4. Oh my god, if we lose this. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so he's down two pawns, and they're very important pass pawns. Yeah, b5 here, oof. This is looking terrible for us. The Saronic Vultures. We're... Maybe, maybe we are Vultures. Maybe we are Vultures because we really have to pick up the scraps here. Schalker winning, yes. Schalker is winning. It's painful. It's even Dr. 1000 like you, he's on the opposing team twice and and he feels our pain. <laughs> Alright, B7. Yeah, the the only the only consolation here is that we're up on time a bit, but this is not going to last, I think. And at least, yeah, the bishop is protecting c7, that's a consolation. <laughs> we only care about our names, yeah. We have the better names. Oh, the bishop is... Ouch. It's not looking swell for us. Yeah, b6. Uh, c6, I meant. These rooks give a funny impression. Look at this bishop. If the if you ever saw a Catalan bishop, this one is a Catalan bishop. Ouch. Ouch. Schalker winning three. We're already down three. <laughs> oh my god. Dracul, you're up, buddy. Dracul, please save us from this Schalker beast. We have to stay with the winner's perspective, unfortunately. I really want to watch this from Dracul's perspective. Dracul to the rescue, says Halim Mansour. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Halim, hopefully it doesn't have to come to you to, to take out Shalker. <laughs> Where is Dracul? They're on. Dracul with the 2022 rating. By the way, the colors. Hmm. We're not respecting the colors. Why why are we not respecting the colors, guys? Another Catalan. Another Catalan with almost the same setup Munir chose, right? Except for H6. <laughs> and Dracul will lose electricity in winning position. <laughs> Just as happened in the Dracul uh, against uh, superfluous bishops uh, match which was not uploaded unfortunately because i had streaming issues as well so we need to respect the colors guys okay next um so whoever wins this game they should switch colors for the next game f3 okay i think dracul was trying to provoke weaknesses there and he succeeded uh, a four now, a four intending a five. Seriously, what is Shulker? What is Shulker on? <laughs> yeah, knight c5 is a very natural way to meet this, but still, I think the expansion is good. A5, you probably have to play bishop c8. Schalker is on steroids. Not not uh, testosterone steroids. He's on trenbolone. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now, now he's on estrogen. What's b3? <laughs> b3? Seriously? Preventing knight c4, alright. 
Okay, this queen d7 is trying to prevent a5. Yeah, a5 won't be a possibility for a long while. And preparing perhaps bishop h3. Yeah, unfortunately, black has an isolated pawn on d5. This pawn right over here. It's, it's a bit annoying to deal with this pawn. But Shalker way down on time. <laughs> I smell blood. Shalker a minute down on time. Before a3, yes, before a3 was interesting. Intending to complete a5. A5 of 6 is a bit crazy for a Catalan, but maybe possible. But nah, he can just take on f6, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, Ali in the chat says Shalker is on SF. <laughs> That's the best kind of steroids. Stockfish. Okay, bishop f3 now. Yeah, well, black's position has definitely improved. But still, uh, for example, now the point of b3 is shown. Um, knight c4 is prevented. You see, guys, Schalker played b3 on move 15. Because he knew that after three moves, he's going to put the queen on d2, so that knight c4 would not be available. See, this is, this is how grandmasters play. They see seven moves ahead. In this case, three, but sh definitely Schalker has seen seven moves ahead. And then Blitz, of course. He can calculate, like, uh, probably a million variations per, per second. So, Schalker is just a far advanced species. Why not 18, knight, e4? 18, knight, e4, 18, knight, e4. Um, that is a very interesting dynamic possibility, making use of these weaknesses. Yes, I do like 18, knight, e4 very much, actually. Huh, it's played. Whoa, not even afraid of bishop f5? Doesn't bishop f5... Um, maybe you can, maybe, yeah, no, the bishop f5, knight takes f5, and there's something on e7, so. Okay, but Schalker way down on time. Yes, bishop c5 check. Bishop f5 now. I like this, bishop b4, yes. Yeah, this is... Okay, actually, maybe not immediately over. He's definitely going to get flagged. This is almost 100% over. I, like, no possibility of a checkmate either, so. Yeah, taking far too long. Just take e4. Yep. And it's over. Okay, but an amazing effort by Schalker. An amazing effort by Schalker. Seriously, he plowed through three people. Schalker is finally out. Let's see Dracul against the peace. <laughs> I put it in orange. Let's put it in red. Finally, we get to see the match from my team's perspective. <laughs> Someone pressed computer analysis on this game. Oh. Okay, so Dracul against the Peace Master, the Master of Peace. Peace F has increased his new high by about um, 50 rating points. 1870. It's astonishing.
Yeah, I know, Yali, I know. <laughs> I I noticed what's going on there. Yeah, PSF increased his uh, blitz rating by 140 rating points in one week. And you guys remember the stream that started it all. Ever since I kibitzed uh, his games and we analyzed them, um, he was rated 1720, now he's 1870. Not saying anything. <laughs> Catch up with the game. Where is the game? Oh, I thought I pressed the TV. Whoops. Another Catalan. <laughs> or oh, no, no, this is not the Catalan. The Grunfeld with Bishop F4. Okay. The Grunfeld with Bishop F4. It seems like black, yeah, trade queens. Black is alright here. Not even trading queens. Interesting. That's reasonable. But wait, do, how are you going? Are you taking on c5 with the... Putting it on a2 is interesting. I would rather put it on e2 to avoid the d3 control, but okay. Yeah, now B4, or are there tactics on the long diagonal? I don't imagine so. Yeah, this this should be winning, actually. That's why when I saw Knight A5, I understood the connection uh, to take on C5. Um, but uh, I was thinking he didn't want to take with the... Oh, this is... Ouch, Rook D3... Rook d3, you attack the queen and you win the knight. Yeah, this is over. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well, Dracul is our secret weapon here. Bishop a6. Where was bishop a6? Bishop a6 is decent, yeah. Or bishop a6 now, yes, okay. Yep, very accurate by Pat Zeruk. Yeah, so why is he not taking on c5? Is he afraid of the sacrifice? He's afraid of the sacrifice. Okay, but you could just not take if you really wanted to. Honestly, I would I would not take, to be honest. Why, why give him counterplay? You're up 7 billion pieces, so... Uh, he's attacking the rook. He could even give the, give up the rook and still be winning, but no need to do that either. Dracul spending some time here, but Dracul is a relatively fast player. In time pressure. But he doesn't play on leeches a lot, so he might not be used to this beautiful sight. Yeah, piece of, uh, again, <laughs> allowing a fork. But this time, yeah, this time it's, uh, again, the piece sacrifice is a bit annoying. Okay, now g4 is possible. Okay, that's prevented. He's taking. Honestly, you could take here. Intending rook d8 check. Bishop b1 is passive. No need for passivity. He could have taken f7 with check. Intending rook d8. Alright, but everything wins, obviously. Now bishop d3, just try to improve your bishop. Or, or go back to a2. Go back to a2. This, okay, it's not... Bishop b3 doesn't work because of rook takes c8. And rook takes comes with check on f8. Okay, hopefully no checkmate over here happens. It's not looking likely either. Okay, bishop a2... Yeah, still way up on time, but PSF is making this a fight. And... Okay. Yikes. Please don't get mated on G2. Please don't. Please don't. Ah, he goes for a mate himself. <laughs> yeah, PSF shouldn't have pre-moved that. Nice, 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 nice. 
דרקיול. או, דרקיול אגנסט a better rival here, עמר. דרקיול, he was the second one to get a perfect score in his war. He beat Omar by a score of uh, 7-0 last time, and actually 8-0. So Omar is out for revenge here. Let's see. You can see the score at the bottom there. 8-0. Yeah, the first person to get a 7-0 in a war was Peace F. He got it against G Sabo. And uh, Dracul was the second. Against Omar. Okay, already I'm liking Black's position. What was this opening? <laughs> D5 against C4. Yeah, here you simply take. This is called uh, the the stupid Scandinavian, <laughs> the the bad Scandinavian. Because after takes takes and knight C3, White gets a two pawn center. Unlike in the normal Scandinavian where it's only one pawn center. And Omar played a terrible move against this b3. Very highly questionable. And uh, some control over d4. Wow, he didn't take here. He preferred to castle. Potentially queen a4, but then bishop d5, I don't know. Okay, knight g4, perhaps intending bishop f6, some slight pressure over here. Yeah, Malika Peace, you did a good job there, but uh, wait a bit for the mate. Like, don't just pre move bishop h1, because definitely your opponent will notice bishop h1 and he'll do something about it, so. And uh, Dracul did. Uh, Counter attack. Could have played bishop d5 there maybe instead of bishop h1. Attacking the queen. Anyway, that game is over. Okay, why is he not taking c4? So the game started with one c4. Oh wow, knight e5. That's a brilliant move by Dracul. He wants to take with the uh, with the knight. Or maybe even bishop takes. Oops. Bishop takes and knight d3. Ford king. Whoa, look at the time difference as well. A full minute on the clock. That's insane. That's insane. Okay, just take c4. Please. It's 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 not it's not an easy decision though. I mean taking with the bishop, I was thinking. Probably safer to take with the knight. Yeah, taking with the bishop, you have to deal with this d4 now. It's fine. It's fine, d4. Uh, is it? I don't know. Malika Peace, this is exactly what I was talking about. Against the Grunfeld, so many players play this... Uh, this uh, bishop f4 line you don't get the normal Grunfeld ideas or not in their normal strength wow Beiluf that's an excellent one <laughs> I, I might start using that g5 is nice yeah g5 g5 you maybe need to uh, be a bit afraid of d4 Oh, it's not, uh, it's not so clear. And Dracul taking his time. He does play g5. Yeah, but it's very dangerous to... Not because of knight h3, because of d4 there. Um, with uh, a lot of counterplay in the center. And you don't get knight d3 then, so... Okay, but this, this is over now. Yeah, Dracul taking his time to see why knight takes b2 doesn't work, but uh, surely it does. He doesn't, okay. I don't know about the use of inserting g4 there. 
Okay, now. Huh, now it's not so easy. Bishop of six. Okay, just bishop g7. Just bishop g7, stay safe. Come on, Dracul, you can do this. This is very close to a win. Bishop, yeah, bishop d3 is good, actually. But, but the pieces... Okay, c4, I guess. Then queen takes b7. Hmm. Dracul is spending far too much time. Okay, please play c4. Okay, this is fine as well. Ah, this is... We're starting to see the speed by Dracul. Look at that speed. Very impressive. Nice. Look at that speed. I'm very impressed. Uh huh. Nice. <laughs> See, Dracul is a primary, uh, primary is a very sp uh, speedy player. Okay, let's. Uh, so against Hashem now. Okay, we need to add another fire. So we had a three-zero sweep, and they had a three-zero sweep as well. Let me change this here. All right. And now, now, what is this again? What was the opening? Let's check. Seems like a QGD. A Slav with oh wow, this is a very bad version of the Slav. At least you have the bishop out, but he's trying to win it immediately. Very nice. He's winning the bishop pair. Okay. This move, I, th I think e5 is a bit premature though. Probably pre preface it with bishop uh, g3. Yeah, it does, Bailouf, but uh, today it's going to be a bit different. Uh, yeah, I don't know about trading dark with Bishops there, now this is Gonzo. Yeah, this is positionally winning for white. Let's see if he can convert this. He needs to find a proper plan. It starts with queen d2 maybe? See, this d4 pawn might be a bit weak. So, I like this getting out of the line of sight of the rook. Maybe he can he can even do a crazy plan like king h2 rook h1 rook h1 <laughs> king g1 that's 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 actually not not too bad Hello hello Mr Rahili nice to see you as well man How's it going Bishop pairs are overrated not in this position even though it's a closed position Yeah, due to the space advantage, this is quite funny, due to the space, space advantage, uh, the knights uh, are kind of fighting for the same squares. You'd think this is a close position and the knights are better. They're kind of fighting for the same squares. Please no draw. Please no draw. No, you can't draw. By the way, did they respect the colors? No draw, please. I was uh, actually here a5, a6, and take on c6 is very strong. No, no, of course not. Of course not both eliminated. How is, how is no one taking it? Oh, yeah. It's a draw. Okay, no, they play again. But uh, Dracul should have played... Wait, no, they respected the colors, actually. Yeah, now Dracul takes black. Um, h4 is not available. Or, oh, queen g4. Queen g4, h4, and knight g5. No, no, that's a very, very good plan, actually, Pat Zeruk. 
How does uh, white doesn't have a good way of stopping it anyway? A yeah, black doesn't have a good way of stopping it. Okay, so we're going to see a rematch now, and Dracul has to be black. Yeah, Queen H4. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. That's a that's a very nice plan to go for here. Um, if we if we take a look here, yeah, Queen G4. Now the the thing is, his queen was always on E7, protecting. I was thinking this plan, King H1, Rook H1, and uh, King G1 back, and uh, that should be quite a good plan. And maybe even this. It's it's really slow, but I mean, Black has no no breaks in the position. Bishop c2, yes, yes, adding more pressure of the light squares. a4, a5, uh, Rahili says, yes, that's uh, that's a plan I mentioned at the end there. Uh, definitely white shouldn't go for a draw there. It's uh... Okay, the king's Indian attack now. He plays a d6 setup against this, all right. This is a very strange King's Indian attack. With Bishop d7, uh, I don't know about that. Too early to develop the bishop, I think. Okay, knight c4. Eh, d5, you just allow knight e5. Questionable. Wow, he gave him a pawn. Whoa, that was a pawn there. Was it not? Was a pawn not available here? Some some counterplay maybe, but of course it's a pawn. Now maybe bishop c6, try to oppose this bishop. This I don't like. You're not opposing anything now. G Saba one to four. Hello. Who chose the name of the teams? I did. <laughs> you don't like them? We can always change them next time. New teams. Bishop C six a blunder. Bishop C6 here is a blunder, e5, knight d5, no. Ouch, she dropped a pawn. Hopefully he doesn't regret this uh, draw. Knight b4. Alright, at least you got rid of the dark squared bishop. A queen of six is nothing, you just go to f8, it's fine. But now knight d6 is threatened, a very strong move. Yeah, he's trying to trade queens. Uh, b7 is dropping as well. Uh, this is looking... Actually, it's not too terrible, I, I would imagine. But yeah, not easy to play, of course. And... Looking quite bad. E6 is dropping now. Yes. Yikes. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, he's almost forcing a queen trade. That's good, preventing the queen trade, but... Uh, knight of 7... Knight f7 is lights out. This is close to lights out as well. Queen check. Resigns. He didn't see it. Okay. Only option is to take. Not like this. <laughs> like this. Over. 
maybe try this. This is strange, preventing a 4, but too slow. Your, your rook isn't going to be there forever. By the way, sorry for the sniffles. Uh, I, need, I need to clear my sinuses, I think. Thirty-nine rook takes rook. There's no thirty-nine. Yeah, Dracul is only down a million pawns. Yeah, seriously, not now. A six rook b six. Uh, A five rook b six. Ah, uh, he shouldn't have taken the draw. He was so much better in that white game. Tough. Okay, let's take a small break after this. Because um, I really need to clear my sinuses. He resigns. Okay. Yeah, just just a one minute break if you could tell them, Bailouf. Hashem at it again. No, Halim. He's, this time, this time it's different. This time it's different. We have to believe in ourselves. <laughs> so Hashem. Hashem against Yali. IAY. Let's go. Let's go. We believe in IAY. Nothing is happening yet. Hashem has dropped quite a bit in terms of blitz. Hopefully that vac factor is to our advantage. IAY. E45, bishop c4. Okay. The evens gambit. Hashem playing very quickly. Has he learned this line from Magnus Carlsen recently? <laughs> He's been trotting out the the events. The events with d5. Not aware of this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. D6 is wrong here. No, it's not. I have c6 here. He didn't see c6? Okay. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> he had c6 though, right? I'm not an expert on the events gambit, but uh, I'm sure d6 is a normal move. d6 is very bad. Due to what was played? Yeah, I have, by not an expert, I mean I almost know nothing about the Evans Gambit. Beiruf has studied the Evans Gambit, though. Maybe he can help us out. Knight b8, or knight here, and just c6. What's so bad about c6? Or is d5 not the move? Yeah, d takes e5, of course. Exactly. D takes e5 should be much better for white. By much better, I mean almost winning, right? Because if you take here, simply queen takes. And if you take with a knight, there is at some point this common tactic with bishop f7. So, anyway, this did not happen. What did happen is taking it. Trade, oof, no, because he doesn't want to drop c7. Yeah, this is becoming even worse. Now just random pawn moves. Yeah, the knight coming to f5. Brilliant positional play by IAY. Yeah, this is looking over. Hopefully. <laughs> we really need a win.
our our big hope is that uh, Doctor One Thousand IQ plays today. <laughs> Okay, trading queens. Yeah, kind of forced there actually. Maybe knight a5 check. Yeah, knight c6, cementing the knight on c6. Brutal. Okay, but the king is getting active. Yeah. Yeah, king, king c4. Some activity. I would have played rook c1 there, maybe intending knight e3, but that's not mate, so hmm, this is better probably. Now knight e3 is mate. Now knight e3 is unpreventable mate. We've won! <laughs> knight b3 is the only move, but if you're going to play knight b3... Wait, what am I... Oh, God. Oh, no, no, this is still mate, this is still mate, yeah. Knight e3 and knight b7. Hide your eyes. Hide your eyes. Ouch. 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 <laughs> Phew. We won. Fire basket for this. Maybe maybe we can give IY like seven fire baskets. Just seven fire baskets. Just for the heck of it. For for a for a night, mate. <laughs> okay, let's let's be serious now. It is quite pretty bad, Zeruk, Yes. Now IAY will have to face a big challenge, and his name is Brilliancies. Okay, now. Our uh, long and treacherous road. Look, what's good is that we've made it halfway through their team. Last time uh, against Google IQ, um, halfway through their team was also Hashem, and we didn't make it through. At least now we've made it through. Ah, Brilliance has dropped some rated points from his high. Oh, this is a bad line against the Nimzovic. Yeah. Oof, even giving a five. I think Brilliances has played this. Uh, Brilliances has played this a year ago against Beilouf. I remember. The first chess war was Brill. Was it uh, was it Beilouf against uh, IAY or was it Beilouf against Brilliances? I think it was against IAY. Second chess war. Actually, the first chess war was Dracul against uh, Doct uh, against superfluous bishops. Second chess war was uh, uh, Beilouf against IAY, and the third chess war was Beilouf against Brilliancies. And Brilliancies played the same line. And look, wow, this is excellent for Black. The rook coming here. We have firm control over e4. Our bishop may be. Isn't doing so much now, but it has potential later on in the game. Yeah, now our long and treacherous road. We have brilliancies, we have Beilouf, we have Kingboard 1 to 3, we have Doctor 1000 like you. It's a long road ahead. A very long road, actually. But hey. We're going to fight tooth and nail through this. <laughs> One eye, why? Does it have anything to do with the uh, One million <laughs> dollar pair of glasses you're wearing? Okay, Queen, uh, Queen B3 was very strong though. Yeah, I didn't notice uh, this, uh, this, these two pawns hanging. He didn't even take on B7, wow. That's, that's kind of him. <laughs> But yeah, this doubling, of course, is also reasonable. But, I mean, yeah, he should have taken. Because e8 is firmly defended, you can't just move away with the knight. Yeah, here, queen h5. 
Maybe there is this idea. Not maybe, there is this idea. Maybe he's considering to take now. Yeah. And now, now actually, yeah, knight c8, remaneuver to d6. Yes, this isn't too bad. Yeah, and put the knight on d6 now. Yep, 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 yep. Not bad at all, actually, for black. Is black even better here? I wouldn't imagine so, but... So maybe knight e4 next? Or knight c4? Knight c4 makes more sense. Intending to dislodge this rook from the e-foil. He gives him a knight c4 on a silver platter? That was strange. Maybe he thought he could take on e8. Yeah, he can't do that. Uh, yep. Now, definitely black is better. Control of the open file. Um, a bit of more space advantage. e5 is a weak square, though. But d5 is a weak square for white as well. Now some looming threats of check and takes a2. Of course that's not possible. But yeah, maybe maybe g6. And then check here. He right, does this. Ah, interesting. There are some tactics here. If allowed. Like potentially queen takes h4 and knight f3 check. Yeah, I don't like queen b1, that's... Uh, queen e8 is made, so... Ooh! Oh, sh... Oh! Oh my, I didn't see that, and I don't think Billion sees did either. Holy... <laughs> I, why, what in the world? Wow! <laughs> oh my god, we've seen two beautiful checkmates, there should be a Brilliant C's prize. <laughs> I don't mean to make that joke. There should be a brilliancy prize for for these uh, for these checkmates. Oh my god! I was saying queen b1. I didn't like. Yeah, I don't like it on positional grounds, but not on tactical grounds. Hot tamales. Wow! Astounding, amazing, and IAY against Beiluf. All right. What is this? <laughs> Against the Nemzovich, d3. Okay, so Beiluf plays the Nemzovich as well. Okay, this is morphing into some King's Indian attack setup. Is IOI going to go three out of three for beautiful checkmates? I wonder. Yeah, c3 now. Okay, a4 expanding on the queen side. Yeah, this this should be slightly favorable for white. Yeah, for black. Yeah, now rook d8. Queen d3 is coming. Or that, I'd start the maneuvering here. He must. C4 as well, yeah. Yeah, C4, yeah, uh, e, F1 is a passive square. C4, you at least attack E5, so that's... That's a bit better. Okay, now Knight E3. Or maybe Bishop G5. Yeah, I'm starting to likes, uh, likes, uh, to like White's position better. Yeah, bishop g5 intending to take on f6 simply, so that must be prevented. With queen e6, alright. Yeah, now knight e3. He takes. Um, it's not entirely unreasonable to go for the bishop uh, against knight here. 
IG8, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Hopefully you're doing well with the outbreak. Uh, yeah, so take stakes. Pay the one, look at the eight. Bishop e3. Maybe bishop e3 and here. Yeah, for example, if knight, if knight g4, bishop b6, and then h3, knight f5 is a nice square, that is prevented, and now d5 is threatened, so something needs to be done about this, can't just let him play d5, mm, maybe there is no option, I, I, actually maybe d5 isn't so great, takes and some e5, your, your queen is lined up with the rook, <laughs> I, IGH says I am going to forge a ring that will allow me to control the variance community <laughs> you kind of already do buddy <laughs> yeah, it's okay quarantine uh, it's becoming a bit routine <laughs> the quarantine is becoming routine uh, yeah still still liking white here he has done a very good positional job. Now rook d1. Maybe knight f3 takes e5. Dr. 1000 IQ, start preparing yourself if Bailouf loses this. I'm excited to see Dr. 1000 IQ play. <laughs> okay, but AY is taking off. This is too much time, man. You can't you can't have this amount of time. Possibly, uh, uh, possibly, uh, positively cannot. Okay, black is going. Oh, this allows why? I, why, why? <laughs> and now it looks like Bailouf is going to get the checkmate. Yeah, this is unpreventable mate, right? He's trying to escape, but mate. Ouch. Checkmate. Okay, Bailouf returns the favor with the mate there. Okay. We have Halim now. Getting marathons. Um... Talk to someone about it. Uh, I think uh, I think leeches will wouldn't quite mind the marathons. They would be very popular, and uh, we've had them with the revolutions. We we have to call them revolutions, though, as I did. Keep uh, keep what I did running. Me versus Bailouf the rematch. Yes, Halim. Yeah, let's start watching. Okay, it's already taking place. Uh huh. The Benoni. With an early knight d5. Yes, this is a very annoying line for uh, for black. I don't think so, AJH. Um, I'll ask, I'll ask. I'll see what can be done. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know about that. Yeah, I don't this year due to the 
economic crisis in Lebanon. I can't. I cannot send money abroad. Uh, so I don't have anything planned. It would be actually quite a good time this year with all the online tournaments, but unfortunately, I cannot. Okay, so I'm liking White's position, obviously, the knight is on d5, it's a very excellent square. a4 preventing b5, black seems to be lacking good squares. Overall quite good. <laughs> okay, IGH. Uh, taking on g5, activating the queen, I do not like as much. Unless he intends to follow up with f4. F4, maybe I like this. Taking on b6, allowing bishop takes h3. Okay. What is bishop h3? Maybe f4, but queen g3. This runs into... Okay, but takes. Hmm. Maybe bishop g4, queen g3, knight e5. Does that work? No, queen g3, knight e5 doesn't work because of the rook is kind of finding there. It's too much material. Huh. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, maybe knight c4 to pr protect b2. Yeah, all right, I J H. <laughs> yeah, you said say t talk to twice. I thought it was some joke there. <laughs> now a piece is dropping. Ouch! And Halim is way down on time. Yeah, the queen is pinned. Looks probably like Joe is up. Yeah, just knight takes e5. Yeah. Queen takes. Yeah, you're going into an endgame now. It's even worse. Take a6. Ah, I'll take h5 first. Probably just rook c1. Not this one, though. I thought the other was more accurate. Because now rook a3 is possible. I would have taken a6. Rook d2! Rook, oh! Rook d2! Yo! Okay, there was... Yeah, there was some counterplay there. Wait, was there actually? What would happen after rook d2 here? Probably you can't get out of it with rook takes f7, but... Okay, this is... Yeah, this is obviously a winning king and pawn endgame, but maybe a bit unnecessary by Bailouf. Hold, 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 hold the f... What? It was even lost! Halim! No! Oh no, now, now he picks up all the pawns. Halim had a ch chance there. Ouch. That hurts. And Bailouf's conversion there was less than desirable. X. <laughs> Okay, Joe. We have Joe up to the task, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, fire emoji. Fire basket. Hmm. 
<sighs> Hopefully Joe is up to the task. Hello, dance with me, QT. Are you someone I know? <laughs> Hopefully it's not, says Dr. 1000 IQ. IGH. Uh... Oh, welcome. Welcome, Scudone. Uh, Scudoni? I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Sorry, man. The variants community is strong here. Beiluf going loco in the shoko in the Scandinavian. Not unwarranted though. This is a very nice line for black. It's it's called the Nimzovich uh, defense Scandinavian variation. It's not a proper. It's not the Scandinavian, but it's the Nimzo, It's the Scandinavian variation of the Nimzovich defense because it strongly resembles the Scandinavian. It can actually arise from some Scandinavians, this exact position, I think. Um, does knight takes d4 work? Queen a5 is very reasonable as well. I'm really liking the white's position, which is... Uh, black's position, which is not good. Ah. I missed that after knight e5, there's simply bishop d4. Yeah, bishop d4, you probably have to play rook d8, right? I was thinking there's some knight takes c4, but that doesn't work, obviously. Okay, yeah, if, uh, you can't allow g7, so this is the only move, I guess. Why is he taking time? Is there anything other than rook d8? Queen h5, he's adding pressure. He wants to just uh, put some pressure here and the game is over, so... Okay, but now this knight takes e4 idea, knight takes e4 idea is back in full swing, so... So Joe needs to be careful. Yeah... He's careful. Okay, but knight f6 now. I'm back to liking black. Eh, liking is too strong, yeah, because now just castles. Rook f8 maybe, rook h f8. 13, queen c3. Uh, oh, that was, yeah, how did we miss that? 13, queen, c3, right. Look, d1, the knight, d4. Checks out. You are right, Dr. 1000 IQ. Yeah, now it's looking quite dangerous for... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, f I feel bad for Beiluf there, but... <laughs> That was quite funny. <laughs> Bailoof, what are you doing? <laughs> Buy more CPUs for your brain. <laughs> Whoops, my lady, says Bailoof. Yeah, you need to apologize to your lady for what you did. Okay, his position wasn't great, though, like, after this... Look B1. Tough. So it's not... Uh, it's not like uh, it was a huge deal there. So king board 1 to 3. Don't tell me king board is sleeping. That would... That would be very bad. For the match. Um, Ariash asks, what tourney is this? Ariash, this isn't a tournament. It's uh, just... Uh, a team battle between 
two friendly teams. If enough people in the chat, maybe we can do a team battle between chat members. Probably not today though, I have some work to do. Maybe tomorrow if you guys want. <laughs> no, he tuned in a bit before, he tuned in a bit before. He chose the easy way out. <laughs> yes, Malika, peace. Oh, they've started? No, they haven't. Oh, I'm I'm a, I'm an idiot uh, as usual. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I keep forgetting to follow the winning the, the person who won. So king board one two three a Dutch. Allowing e five, just going for a finketo. Yeah, but this is like the perfect Dutch for Joe. He has everything. He has everything. He has everything here, simply. How many times am I going to say he has everything? One more time. One more time for the boys. Yeah, takes f3. Knight g4 now. Looking questionable for the black pieces. Yes, this knight to, be, to, to have knight takes f3 and queen takes h2. Excellent play by Joe. And attacking e3, yeah, this is this is simply over. Malika Peace asks, but does he have everything? Oh, he was quick to play that. Maybe he missed bishop takes f3 and the queen is defending. Hmm. That was not optimal. Black is still much better, but yeah, probably c5 now. Yeah, bishop d7 is even more reasonable because takes and yeah, c5 isn't an optimal positional move, so it's not too bad though. Okay, I like the time. Joe is way up on time. Yeah, takes. Yeah, you do get the e4 square now for your pieces, so taking is not unreasonable. Now maybe bishop e5 to counteract the strong bishop. I don't know though if when you counteract the bishop. Hmm. When you counteract the bishop, do you really. Joe is in red? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so stupid! Whoops! Of course, Bailouf is in red. Joe. Hopefully never gets into the red zone. <laughs> Hopefully he plows through king board 1 to 3 and doctor 1000 IQ. So what happened here? Yeah, bishop e3. I was saying maybe the bishop, uh, when it's traded like this knight, might be more powerful than this bishop, but okay. e5 is pushed through. Hmm. Not starting... Not liking uh, black so much anymore. Maybe, hold on, maybe this is a possibility. Doesn't this win? It does. Yeah, he'll have to sacrifice the queen. But it's nowhere near enough. Okay, okay. Joe. Yeah, Joe, Joe and Kingboard, almost 600 games. They play a lot of bullet between each other. Halim, I took Beirouf to a date and I gave him a bishop as a present. <laughs> Alright, man. More power to you. Yeah, bishop e3 check. What do you play now? Queen h1 maybe? Uh, queen h3 check and bishop g3. Bishop f2, intending bishop g3. Is Joe back to 2500 bullet? He is great. Yeah, this is over. Too many threats. 
If the rook stays on the first rank, you take g3. If it doesn't, queen f1 is mate. Yes. Can't be prevented the mate. Either f1 or h2. Looks like you're up, Dr. 1000 IQ. You are up, Dr. 1000 IQ. This match is a bit different this time. <laughs> the Saronic Vultures. Joe. Joe, we want the third fire basket. Let's go, Joe. We want the third fire basket, Joe. Make us proud. What color is that? <laughs> No, not sign. What am I talking about? <laughs> yes, exactly. Dance with me, QT. Dance with me, QT. That always occurs. The winner always plays. Uh, Always plays uh, IGH and Atomic or ZH. They love cheering on Dr. 1000 IQ. I believe in Joe so much, I'm not going to go get my mouse, okay? Because I'm not going to play against Dr. 1000 IQ. Joe will beat Dr. 1000 IQ. Joe will crush Dr. 1000 IQ. Joe is playing the London system against Dr. 1000 IQ? Wow! This is the first time I see Joe playing D4. He's sick of Dr. 1000 IQ Sicilian, huh? Okay. Maybe a 4 he intends. I like a four. Yes. We're going to see a Dr. 1000 IQ get mated. Please. <laughs> Halim, whose side are you on, man? Whose side are you on? Halim, your name is here, man. This is, this is Halim. You're here, bro. You're on our team. You can't just tell me this is what I said and <laughs> H4, wow, Joe, Joe is going bonkers now, this is too much, I think. Unless, now G4, oh my god. I like this. N now maybe not so much, but eh, maybe bishop takes and G4, not, not with the bishop. <laughs> Oh, Halim, this is the second time you, <laughs> you say something about Beilouf. Okay, H5? Maybe? Yeah, Joe has... Okay, maybe he can castle long now. Queen c2, I like attacking... Uh, attacking e4. This should be a weak move because of... Because of what? Maybe e5 though now. e5 doesn't look unreasonable. Actually it does, just knight takes e4. Ah, knight takes e4. Whoa! Aha, uh -huh. look at the tactics. Nice. <laughs> if takes e3. Wow. Joe is trying to make that work, but not necessary, Joe. Just take e4. Take e4, then knight d2. Actually, that's not easy either. Hmm. Oh my god, Joe, please. <laughs> Castle, simply, okay. Castle and avoid the hassle, that's right. 
Yeah, maybe he can take c5 now and then take e4. All right. Get the mouse. No, no, no. Joe will win this. Joe will win this. Joe will win this. Taking c5 is a bit dangerous, so... Knight on e5, alright. Now just take... Knight c4, knight d6 is coming. This is excellent for white. Yeah, just, just move your queen. Actually, after c4, it's a bit annoying. Let's see if he'll play c4. c4 cementing the bishop is actually a bit annoying. Um, maybe he should have taken the time to play c4, but then knight b4. Okay, rook b, rook, rook g1, and bishop f4. Yeah, preventing any f4, right? That's a good exchange sacrifice. Yeah, now you have to be careful of the queen coming in. Mm, dropping here. He sees it, he sees it. He's trying for mate there, but... Okay. Mate! Mate! Yes! <laughs> Dr. 1000 IQ always falls for this. <laughs> See, I told you I believe in Joe. <laughs> Victory! Victory is ours! <laughs> awesome! Awesome! <laughs> Joe, you are bestowed the third fire basket. The Saronic Vultures have won the third fire basket. Heralds from the sky. Or hails from the sky. And heralds. Saronic vultures into a new dawn. Harold us into a new dawn, Joe. <laughs> yes, Joe won. Why not IJH? Joe plays Crazy House. Joe is 2000 in Crazy House. Look at Joe. 2000 rated in Crazy House. Why don't you play him? See, I believed in Joe when no one did. Everyone told me, go get the mouse, you'll have to play Dr. 1000 IQ. No mouse, no mouse. <laughs> Beiluf, uh, don't do that before you finish your work, okay? <laughs> We're having fun now, but it's 2 a.m. and we don't <laughs> have much time. <laughs> Maybe we should analyze the game. Dr. 1000 IQ, we're going to make you relive, relive the Spain. IGH, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. You always fall for checkmate in one.
Okay, just uh, asking Joe to play IGH and some ZH. IGH and some ZH. Toxic streamer. <laughs> Hello, Gilad905. Yeah, it's it's uh, you're uh, you're up late, man. Should have been here earlier. Yeah, yeah, you were a bit late, but no problem, buddy. We'll have uh, we'll have uh, this again. Gilad, you helped us out greatly. Wow, look at this. Look at the graph by Dr. 1000 IQ. Guys, look at this graph, seriously. <laughs> Dr. 1000 IQ, you're a very impl impressive player. Just need to stop falling for mate and one. Awesome, Gilad. Awesome. That's 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 great. We really need. Uh, uh, yeah, we. Uh, that's that's great that you're telling your friend. So it's uh, it's more fun with friends. So we, you see here we're all a bunch of uh, people, uh, bunch of friends playing each other. We should we should make a team on leeches. We should make a team. Yes. <laughs> Bay Loof. That's where where is Amar? Where is Amar? Where is Amar? Where is Amor? That's uh, it's more fun with friends. That's what she said. That's uh, that's a that's a joke to. <laughs> I want the fire basket for this. Here you go, Beluf. Here you go. Psych. <laughs> okay, is Joe playing IGH? IGH Joe. Says he'll play you. Queen B1, the engine wants to play. Bishop takes a four, was really nice. Yeah, here I thought you... Mm. IGH, uh, Joe says you're not accepting challenges. Maybe you can change that? Doctor One Thousand IQ says, "I am so sad." Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to have Joe against uh, against uh, IGH and some crazy house. IGH, how many games are you going to play? If IGH wins, we win. No, that's not happening, Bailoof. <laughs> okay, so what opening? The, the, the French a6 a bit strange okay trying to prevent b5s joe's taking a lot of time knight takes d4 doesn't work that, joe joe doesn't make these blunders in regular chess <laughs> oh oh he, he uh, i thought he intended to take on d4 yeah he intends to take on c5 then it's good yeah, this seems better. And if the knight retreats, bishop f2 probably, so it doesn't retreat. So you say e7 development, yeah, but you're weak on these squares. Frick g8, probably knight g7, and then at f6 is uh, good. King f8, can't be good. I just take, he doesn't, okay. Joe is way down on time, way down on time. He could have taken, but all right. Yeah. Oh, the queen is coming now. But to whose advantage is this? Oh, after h6, yeah. It's, it's to ijh's advantage. Because you put the queen here. Looks difficult to defend. Yeah, queen e7 is mate. Yep. Okay, so IGH won. That means that uh, Bailoof's team won. Bailoof's team wins. So let me fix this. Um, how do we do this? So, of course, <laughs> so obviously, Bailoof's team won, Lord of the Rings, Lords of the Rings, they won this, um, because IGH is on their team, so whoever wins against Joe and ZH wins the, the battle. <laughs> I remain undefeated when I enter and play the winner. Yes, I JH. <laughs> but what if next time I'm the winner, I JH? Hmm. Th then you then you make me play anti chess and win. That that would be smart. <laughs> okay, so very fun, very fun battle I think today. Because we won. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun, right? No. It's, it's always fun. At the end of the day, it's uh, not about winning or losing. But at the end of the day, it's about winning or losing. At the end of the day. Why am I, why am I saying in the end of the day? <laughs> you, whoa. When was that, IGH? That's, that's insane, man. <laughs> Whoa, only a year ago. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I don't think I could ever beat him. <laughs> well, not ever, but I mean, with my current state of anti chess knowledge. Alright, so very fun stream. Um. Yeah, hopefully you can do this again. I might. I'm going to create a chess wars group. So, all right. Take care, guys.
فان باي